that dark shadow in the ocean off Scripps Pier in 2014, not a cloud moving over the water. It's a huge school of anchovies. It's especially noticeable because we see a lot of them, because there's a lot of anchovies out there. Rasmus Swalethorpe says anchovies are a key part of the marine food web. When there are a lot, birds, larger fish, and marine mammals prosper. But numbers sometimes fall precipitously. A newly published paper in Nature Communications concludes anchovies thrive when the food chain is shorter, with fewer steps between single-cell plants and their mouths. You have a lot of nutrients coming off from the deep ocean that are fueling phytoplankton production and then that's fueling the whole food chain that the anchovies rely on to grow and survive. The research relied on a unique library that's been tracking the ocean since the 1940s. Galkoffee has ocean samples that contain plankton and fish larvae, allowing the team to measure populations and ocean conditions between 1960 and 2005. We go through the plankton, we pull out the larval fish, and we identify them as species. So we've been keeping track of over 800 species of fishes since the 19th late 1940s. The samples allowed the team to measure the length of the anchovy food chain and compared it to population numbers. Knowing when the food chain is long or short could help predict boom or bust cycles, but that's only part of the equation. The short answer is we don't exactly know. We know a lot of things that are important, but our ability to really uh, measure that and, and measure that the broad spatial and temporal scales that covers their populations is, is very limited. Researchers also hope to develop a better understanding of what changes when the food chain gets longer or shorter. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.